Tesla has lowered its price again, and it is surprising that there is a Chinese company behind it. Tesla has cut prices by a lot this time, and there are many reasons, but there is one technology that has also made contributions, and that is the integrated die casting technology. In 2020, Tesla's Gigafactory is equipped with a super large integrated die casting machine. This machine is 19.5 meters long and 5.3 meters high. It can manufacture parts that originally took two hours in two minutes, and the cost has dropped by 40%. Under the dual effects of efficiency and cost, Tesla has the confidence to make a substantial price cut. Therefore, its appearance shocked the auto giants. Since then, this technology has become completely popular. Volkswagen, Mercedes-Benz and other auto companies have all paid close attention to the layout of integrated die-casting technology. If any company does not have a development plan for related technologies, it will be slowly abandoned by investors. Therefore, integrated die-casting technology is the future trend of the industry, and it is even called the third revolution of automobile manufacturing. What many people don't know is that it is a Chinese company that provides integrated die-casting machines for Tesla. In other words, this is a capital carnival in which Tesla takes the lead, Chinese manufacturing companies are behind, and other car companies are swarming. However, this new technology is also called a capital bubble by some people. So, what exactly is integrated die-casting technology? Is it a technology bubble? or a technology that can change the automotive landscape. Okay, today, let's talk about this technology led by Tesla. Let's get stared. Integrated die-casting technology is actually not a new technology, and even its shortcomings are very obvious. This technology existed as early as ancient China, but die-casting castings are not so big, such as movable type printing, its mold is made of die-casting. Simply put, it is to inject molten metal liquid into the mold and wait for the metal liquid to cool into a solid casting. Therefore, die casting technology is nothing new, and it is a mature technology instead. The principle of Tesla's integrated die casting technology is similar, except that its die casting castings are much larger, which can die cast dozens or even hundreds of parts into a larger part. That is to say, the integrated die casting technology has been upgraded in terms of material and size based on mature technology. But such an upgrade is actually a big problem, because once a mature technology changes in materials and processes, it will inevitably affect the yield rate. The same is true for the integrated die casting technology led by Tesla, whose yield rate has not even reached half. Take Tesla's super factory in Grunheide as an example. The pass rate of die casting products here is only about 40%, and a large number of castings are scrapped every day. Especially during the period of equipment debugging, there are densely packed castings waiting to be recycled outside the factory, so this factory is also called casting grave. In fact, in addition to the low yield rate, there are also cost issues. Because the larger the casting, the larger the integrated die casting machine is needed, but the cost of this die casting machine is very expensive. Even the whole set of equipment, including peripherals, produced in China needs about 100 million yuan. If it is in other countries, the price will soar three to four times. So the question is, since this technology has such a big flaw, why does Tesla want to do this? and why are there so many car companies risking failure to follow up? This question is actually very complex and has many answers. After I checked the information, I found that even Musk himself had different answers on different occasions. This has always troubled me. It wasn't until I went back to sort out Tesla's R&D process and the problems I encountered that I gradually became clear. In the final analysis, it is for the lightweight of new energy vehicles. This starts with how Tesla promotes the electrification of cars. The electric vehicles led by Musk have indeed led the future trend, 
but there are many places where new energy vehicles have been criticized, and the mileage is an unavoidable topic. There are two factors that affect the mileage of an electric vehicle, one is the capacity of the battery, and the other is the weight of the car. Everyone should be familiar with the battery, but what everyone does not know is that the weight reduction of the car is no less important than the battery for improving the battery life. According to the research, if the new energy vehicle loses 10 kilograms in weight, the battery life will be increased by 2.5 kilometers, and the cost of the battery will also be reduced. Electric vehicles are generally heavier than fuel vehicles, because electric vehicles are equipped with multiple battery packs, and the weight of these battery packs is basically more than 400 kilograms. This has also led to new energy vehicles generally being much heavier than fuel vehicles of the same type. If this part of the weight can be improved, the mileage of electric vehicles will rise to another level. Therefore, weight reduction is the most important trend for new energy vehicles, and from the moment it is mass-produced, it is a problem that car companies must face. Among them, the integrated die-casting machine is one of the solutions. Moreover, in Tesla's plan, the integrated die-casting machine not only manufactures the rear floor of the car body, but also completes the integrated die-casting of the front floor and even the vehicle frame and battery. At that time, car manufacturing can really be like a toy directly assembled on it. Therefore, the integrated die-casting machine is also placed high hopes by many people, and everyone does not want to fall behind in this revolution. As for cost and yield, as long as the development is fast enough, both can be improved. That's why many car companies are desperately trying to squeeze into the integrated die-casting technology. However, it is necessary to ensure that the error of mass accuracy is controlled within 1 mm, and at the same time, the speed of die-casting must reach a die-casting speed of 12 meters. Even leading international companies dare not try this difficulty easily, but a Chinese company, LK, has accepted this challenge. They hope to use this to change everyone's prejudice against Chinese die-casting technology. At the end of 2019, LK chairman Lu Xiangsheng urgently organized a 100-person R&D team and began to concentrate on tackling key problems. In the end, it cost 80 million yuan and completed the task ahead of schedule in only nine months. In 2020, the Tesla factory in California, USA welcomed a large fleet of vehicles, which carried rows of giant parts and entered the factory interior, and soon an all-in-one die-casting machine with the word IDRA printed on it and weighing 410 tons was introduced. Using this integrated die-casting machine can produce a set of parts in two minutes, while the production of the same parts used to take two hours. Using the integrated die-casting machine not only saves a lot of production time, but also reduces the cost by about 40%, the efficiency improvement is terrifying, completely overturning the previous production process. A few months later, the same huge die-casting machines were launched in Shanghai and the Tesla Superfactory in Germany. But this is not over yet. The glory of China's die-casting machine industry has just begun. In 2021, LK Group developed the world's first 9,000-ton giant die-casting machine. In 2022, LK developed the world's first 12,000-ton die-casting machine, and LK also successfully reached the top of the die-casting machine. And LK, a Chinese company, has also become the most dazzling star behind Tesla. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. See you.